and I did a little little da little damage today. I, um, as you know, I had a garage sale this last weekend, and I made a little over five hundred dollars. And I took about a hundred and fifty of that, and decided I was going to treat myself and do something nice for myself because I haven't been able to for so long. So the rest of it's all put away. I won't touch it. It is for a rainy day. Uh, but I went and I got my hair cut, and, or not cut. She did trim it just a tiny bit. But she um, colored and highlighted it. I absolutely love the color and the highlight. I'm not crazy about the way they fixed it, of course. But um, it probably looks better than what I do every day. But I can't do this. I just can't. So, um, anyway, that is that story. And then I went and got a pedicure. I will insert a picture here. I hope there's nobody watching with the toe fetish. <laughs> we were just talking about that, us girls, so I had to throw that in there. But then I stopped at um, uh, Walgreens just to check to see if they had any of the metallic liquid lipsticks or the um, ombre br blushes by wet n wild and of course they didn't but i still found some stuff that i wanted and i bought so let's get into that and i will show you what i got at walgreens this is not a walgreens sack my wall this is a culver sack my walgreens sack um was getting a hole in it and i didn't want to lose anything so the first thing i got was some micellar water i have been wanting this stuff forever and here yesterday i ordered a bottle of the waterproof waterproof so i got one of the non-waterproof and i have used it already um to take off some stuff on my hand that i had on earlier and it works like a dream so i was very happy with that i also was eyeing this on amazon when i went to order a couple of things i did i found a background screen that um i ordered so, away with the stupid thing that falls apart every time I move it. <laughs> it's just one of those uh, clothes hanging racks, and it comes apart every time I move the dang thing. So, this here I can just fold up and put aside. So, I'm very happy about that. Anyway, I was eyeing these on there, and I had them in my cart, and or an Ulta haul. I, I had them in my cart, and then I took them out of my cart. And I'm glad I did because I, I got them cheaper at Walgreens, believe it or not. So this is the Way to Grow Long and Strong Shampoo and Conditioner. This is, I don't know, I'm gonna, it's not your mother's brand. I'm going to try it. I've never tried it before. Um, I'm going to have to look, though, and see if it's good for colored hair because it might have to sit in my cupboard for a little while. I don't know. But I'm trying to grow out my hair, so I thought I would try this once, just to see. And anyway, it was um, five on sale for $5.99, and I got one half price. Buy one, get one half price. I got almost everything that I got today was buy one, get one. Okay, another shampoo and conditioner I got was buy one, get one free. So, But this one here is kind of expensive. This one cost me $9.99. So I got them both for $9.99, which, which to me made a lot more sense than buying them one or both, you know, $20 for two of them. I got them half price. So this is anyway, this is the Cherry Blossom Plus Vitamin B5 Anti-Fade Shampoo and Conditioner. It's got antioxidants and UV protection, um, sulfate-free, of course, UVA and UV B protection anti-fade color care and it is by Proga Proganix Progenix Proganix these here I'd never heard of them before but I saw them at Walgreens and I thought you know this sounds kind of interesting and I need something that is sulfate free for my colored hair um, and so I, since I just got it colored I don't want the color to fade too fast so I thought I would get these all right, that's it for my shampoo and conditioner. I also saw this, and I thought it, I saw somebody talking about this, but I really didn't pay much attention. It is the Real Techniques uh, Deep Cleansing Gel for my brushes. 
I was looking at their brushes today. What I was looking for was another Real Technique sponge. I'd like to get another one, but they didn't have any. They had one that was made by an off company that looked just like it, but I thought, uh, it was $6.99. I could get the Real Techniques on Amazon, or on, yeah, on Amazon, or was it Walmart? Some place I was looking today for $5.99, so why pay something for an off brand? Anyway, this is Deep Cleansing Gel for Makeup Brushes. Online tutorials make you an expert. So, I guess this works just like soap. I will check it out online, know, and look at it. Anybody use this? What did you think? It's probably kind of a waste of my money, but... Okay, so, you know, I'm always looking for the perfect... Um brow gel. Well, I found two new ones to me at the drugstore today. This one is a wet and wild, nothing nothing but brew net, it's called. Uh, fills and defines brows, cream gel formula, holds hair in place, and it is tapered for precision. So I'm always looking for the perfect brow gel for my brows. And then I found the L'Oreal uh, medium to dark, this is the color, medium to dark, brow stylist plumper, brow gel mascara. And this is, Maybelline I think has got the one with the big old round thing on the end, which sucks. I don't, you know, I'll never use it. But this is what this looks like. And I'm thinking this is pretty new. Um, I'm not real sure. But I do want to use up a little bit of what I have before I open these two. But I thought, well... Okay, so then I bought a another lipstick. Um, this is the the exclusive collection. These are the nudes, and this is Jennifer Lopez's nude. I have been eyeing this and eyeing this, and I thought I already have the Juliana nude, which is let's see here if I can find it quick. Da 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 da. da. Of course, I can't find it. Here it is. Ooh, tip over my lipstick. That would not be good. So the Juliana Nudes is 620 and the Jennifer Nude is six is 370. There is the difference. The 620 I've had, that was the one that I had quite a while ago. And the 370 is Jennifer Lopez. So let's look at them side by side. This is the um, Juliana Nude very pinky nude and then the JLo nude looks like this one it's just a little bit darker okay so let's look at these okay now, don't pay attention to this one. <laughs> but this first one here is the Juliana nude. And there is, whoops, there is the JLo nude. The JLo nude is quite a bit, uh, the, the Juliana nude is a lot pinker, which I think I like better. I have not tried the, the, um, JLo one on my lips yet, but we will see very soon. Okay, so the last thing I got was a Wet n Wild Geometric Highlighting Powder, and is th this is in Dex Desert Explorations, and this is one of their limited edition. Isn't this the same as they didn't have any of the brushes, they didn't have any of the metallic lipstick, and they didn't have the... Um, ombre blushes but they did have this they had two of them and one was kind of more orangey looking this one here let's, there we go and it's got the goofy little stupid brush like why do they really think that anybody's going to use this and I'm going to rub it all together and ruin it oh that's gorgeous that is really pretty Let's just put that right there. I don't know if you can even see it. Oh, it's so pretty, though. I'm hoping that you can see that. Right here is where it is. 
Okay, I got to do that different because I don't think you guys can see that. Let's put it on my arm. There, you can see it there. I'm terrible at at posing for those pictures. But anyway, that is my Walgreens haul. And I really hope that you guys liked it. And I will talk to you in a few days with my, or tomorrow with my um, Making It Work series. Bye-bye.